from Bowling Green, Kentucky. Here for the Hot Rod reunion, come here every year. Come here obviously for the cars and the hot rods and uh, it's a big event for Bowling Green. It's on Father's Day weekend, I've got four kids. Uh, so I try to bring them, uh, they, they tire out a little bit. They're not the long haulers, but uh, I, I do try to get them to the hotel on the event nights there and they do visit the event down here. I, this is 1957 Chevy truck. Um, I actually bought it here uh, in 05 uh, in the campgrounds. A fellow was camping in the campgrounds and had no idea the event was going on. Uh, it was in stock form, it was in pretty bad shape. Um, it took me about a year and a half. I just completely redid it. Uh, took it down to the frame, updated some of the suspension, redid the motor, and uh, it kind of is what it is. This is actually 1977 Porsche Royal Blue. Uh, it, it was just a fluke. I was going through the paint code books at the paint shop and um, just come up with the color, trying to stay away from something metallic, uh, something somewhat era correct. I definitely didn't try to modernize the engine compartment. Um, it's a 69 model 327 with a 69 model Muncie four speed. Uh, the engine looks like something would have in 1969. Um, I had to do some things to the intake as well as putting an oil filler tube in. And uh, basically the only chrome it's got is a chrome air filter and um, an alternator hanging off the side of it and that's it. Uh, no modern amenities whatsoever. The wheels are just uh, black uh, steel wheels. I actually just primed and painted them black about a month ago with coker white walls. I went with black just to kind of throw a little contrast in. As far as the personality, 57 is kind of unique as far as the grill goes. It was uh, one year on it. People call it a big catfish mouth. These trucks, any of them, the 55, 6, and 7s, all have a little bit more attitude as far as I'm concerned. They're meaner looking. This one is a big window truck, um, which was an uh, option, I guess. Um, they just kind of define hot rod. On the inside of the bed, it's uh, I've relocated the fuel cell, which used to be behind the back seat, uh, underneath the bed, and, um, just kind of mocked up, just a filler cap on it. It's just got the painted strips in it. It's actually a pine bed that I stained and cleared myself that was, um, I think it's a special dark walnut color. The bed rails and the bed front and the tailgate are actually new. I ordered them aftermarket, but everything else on the truck is actually original. all the gauges did work the speedometer cable was a little twisted but I just detailed them uh, put a new bezel on it and put them back in and uh, use the other handles for vent purposes um, bypass some of the choke and the throttle linkages and um, just use those for the side vents so when you run it down the road you can pull them and get a little fresh air coming in a lot of the stuff that happened was just mock-up stuff and I, with intentions of changing it after the fact. Uh, the same way with the shifter. It was just a piece of uh, flat stock that I picked up from TSC and, and it, it just worked and I just kind of kept it the way it was. So that's the a seat it was from an 88 Ranger that I got from Paris. I chopped six inches off the top of it. Uh, had DJ's upholstery, reupholstery. <music> I somewhat keep it clean. I'm not much of a cleaner. Uh, I do drive the thing. I've uh, got a couple of boys that are uh, hot rods at heart, so when they say do a burnout, uh, I, I go ahead and oblige. Uh, I drive it to work on the, when it's convenient, I guess. Um, having four kids, we can't all obviously fit. We have uh, before the whole family, but uh, it, I, I drive it to as many shows as I can uh, within reason, a couple hours each way.